Hey, what's up guys? Alien Rides here and we're here with Pitt. Hey guys, how's it going? And we have a look at a scooter that I've never seen before. We got the Kiwa Q Power. Is that what this thing is called? The Kiwa Q it Power? Is. It's a Q Power. It's uh, the next evolution of the Hummer. The Hummer. Okay, so the Kiwa Hummer is another bigger model. The, there's a Kiwa Mini, which was their original model. And then there was the Kiwa Hummer, which uh, became a little bit more industrial. And now the Q Power has the fuel motor. Two 1200 watt motors. Um, it's a 60 volt battery, I believe, the lithium ion battery. Um, and it's fast, three, three speed. Um, and then with the dual motor, that's in effect six speed. Um, and it's a rocket. It's awesome. awesome. It looks like you've definitely put it through its paces. I've been trying to kill this scooter. I've had it since Christmas. I believe it was one of the first, in the, first batches to come into the States. And uh, I live on the top of a dirt road, on the top of a mountain. So I give this thing a proper bashing work. Nice, right, so you've had this thing for about five months now? Correct. And you can climb mountains if there's no problem. I can do a 40 degree climb on a dirt, uh, dirt road. Today I hope to go on the beach and show you what the is like. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna ride around San Francisco today, put this thing through its bases, look at some awesome footage, uh, see what it's capable of. The scooter isn't the most well-built scooter. Okay. Not, not the frame and not the actual body, but the accessories that come with it. There's been a few faults in the last few months. Um, obviously, the bumping and rattling unscrews a few things. Yeah, that's typical for most scooters, I find. The vibrations on the rear uh, mudguard actually broke the mudguard off. Um, so is that a replacement? or how did This you is a replacement, yeah. Okay. Um, I had an accident about a month ago where I hit the side of a hill at 40 mile an hour and as a result of the accident the calipers and the brake pads actually popped out. So there was one other thing that went wrong, the kickstand broke. Okay. Um, there's a piece of plastic that stops the kickstand falling down, a piece of plastic broke. But I have to give absolute credit to keep because it's a new scooter and there aren't parts available. There's no parts available to buy for this. So they've just been supplying them. Oh, that's awesome. So they're covering it under warranty. That's they're covering it under warranty. Sounds like the things that are breaking off are kind of more external, but all the core components are fine, like the frame, the motors. Absolutely. The, the frame, the motors, them. controllers, I've had no problem with. It's just some of the little add-on accessories. But they're all very easy to replace. Everything's with Allen keys. And it's, it's very simple. Yeah, it looks like we've got some really beefy off-road tires in this thing. We have a look at some off-road trails today. We'll take an off-road scooter. Absolutely. You, you've obviously gone off-road a couple of times, I imagine. Dirt roads. Or... I've gone off the road a number of times. Off-road, okay. There's a, a, a mountain down where I live called uh, Cotto Peak, and it's a 3,500-foot climb over about eight miles. And uh, I get up that about 15 minutes now. Awesome. So this is very good off-road. The suspension has two inches of travel that it's sometimes using. So we've got pretty beefy springs for the suspension up here. Uh, it's a pretty smooth ride. It's a very smooth ride. Um, most of the vibration that comes from this is actually from the knobby tires. Okay. Most of the noise is also from the knobby tire rolling. I have to say, using the single motor in the back, 99.9% .9 of the time is a necessity. Uh, as you'll see today when we do plug it into two-wheel drive, um, it's incredibly powerful, the front wheel. Does it just spin? No, it bounces. It bounces, okay. And, uh, until you actually get up to speed, um, you really have to hang on. Yeah. Um, when you're doing uphills, especially on dirt hills, um, the thing tries to buck you off. It's so much fun. That's awesome. Yeah, I noticed that in my scooter too, like, but the wheel will spin, it doesn't bounce. I can, like, wait on the handlebars, like, tiny. I think a lot of people misunderstand that when, when you're riding a scooter, you don't so much turn the scooter as to stand straight and change the balance underneath you. Exactly. Um, without the big wheels to get this individual force to hold it up, it is slightly different riding a scooter. But once you've got used to standing balance and moving the scooter under you, they're they're very they're very versatile. They go pretty much anywhere. Finding places to mount cameras. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you've got a few cameras mounted, so you've got a camera out here I see in the back as well. So we'll have a couple of GoPros running today. 
I'm gonna have a on the helmet, and then also the GoPro that. right here. Yeah, I won't be mounting one here today. Okay. This uh, I, I kind of like this view. Yeah, uh, I think the view is really cool. And as I blow off the ground, the footage also. So overall, this looks like a really promising monster scooter. Uh, you know, dual 1200 watt motors running at 60 volts. That's super powerful. It's actually the exact same specs as the Dualtron Thunder. So I would love to find a Thunder and actually have them race against each other. Uh, just because it's got the same same wattage motors, same voltage. It'd be really interested to see what happens. Uh, but I think this is a lot cheaper than Thunder. You know what this runs? Yeah, um, actually delivered in the States. They said it was going to take 10 days to three weeks to be delivered. It was delivered on the 11th day, and it cost me $2,100 delivered. $2,100 delivered for this monster scooter is a really good price. I was a little bit nervous about sending $2,100 to Asia with no guarantees, but Kiwa has come through 100% on everything that I've needed to, uh, to satisfy my bus with this. Yeah, so I mean, in comparison, I spent almost twice as much on my Dual Thunder compared to the scooter, and it has the same The battery is a little bit smaller at 26 amp hours, but that's still probably not too much dry for the long action. I've ridden on this the last time I came in uh, January with the Bay Area Electric Skate Group. Um, I did 35 miles that day. Um, I'm at about five and a half miles today from when I left home, um, and I've never run it down to an empty. So I have no idea how much is left after a 35 mile drive through the city, and that included a run up to Twin Peaks. Um, so I'm hoping to run it down today and to see if we can do that. Yeah, we can give it a test, do a range test, speed test, see how it goes. It is waterproof. Um, I've driven it through water that comes up the bank. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of surface, surface crust starting to pop through. The red is still super vibrant and clear. And it still looks like it's a great scooter. It looks like you have definitely gotten the money for it. Um, these lights are all from the factory. They're from the factory. Okay. Uh, one thing I will say, when you, if you buy one of these, when you unbox it, it comes with a set of Allen keys, which is all you need for everything. But I would absolutely recommend going around with a fine tooth comb and tightening up all of the Allen keys. The, when it arrived, the, the lights fell off the first time I rode it. Um, and it turns out the screw going in just wasn't tight. The uh, the brakes weren't working, and it wasn't that there was any problem with the brakes. It's just that there was an air in the hydraulic line, and it needed checking. Uh, it needed uh, cleaning. So I would recommend because it's coming from where it's coming from, and they bang up the shut down. Um, I would recommend going through with an Allen key and tightening up Besides that, no one has tires or tires still, or original tires, or tires, no flats yet, anything like that. No flats, no problems along those lines whatsoever. Super hard to find. 50 pounds. According to the specs, it will carry 450 pounds. Nice. And I've had two people on it, maybe 300 plus pounds, going up a deep climb. So yeah, we're here on our Saturday base day ride. We're gonna ride around the city and test out the scooter. I'll be riding my electric unicycle and let's get some awesome footage of the Kiwaki Power scooter with Pit riding it. If you're interested in the scooter, you can find more videos on Pit's YouTube channel and you can find the link in the video description below, so definitely check that out. Australian guy films. Australian guy films. You're an Australian guy. I'm the Australian guy. The guy. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and he's got some awesome videos on this Kiwaki Power scooter, so definitely check that out. All right guys, subscribe and let's ride. I totally did. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is soft. <laughs> yeah, it's so soft.
Well guys, this might be it. We might be out of battery. Let's see if we can get to the top of some peaks. Almost at the top. All right, so we ended up making it to the top of Twin Peaks on the Kiwa. It wasn't barely. pretty, but we made it. Well guys, we had a super fun day shooting this video of the Kiwa Q-Power scooter with Pip. Went over all kinds of terrain, and he's a totally crazy scooter rider. I love it. I hope you all enjoy this video. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.